Hello there, you guys. This is going to be your Tarot Daily Guidance reading for July the 4th, 2017. Okay, so happy Independence Day for those of you that celebrate the holiday. Um, some people don't believe in that whole thing, but if you celebrate it, happy Independence Day to you. All right, so let's go ahead and tune into the energy of this day and see what message Spirit has for us. Okay. For those of you who are waiting for the rest of the monthly love energy readings, I will be getting the uh, rest of them out, okay? I just finished up the first six. You know, there's 12 signs, so I did the first six of the Zodiac, and now I have um, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces left, okay? All right, three of cups. What is the challenge energy? so I can see them okay and what is the suggested approach what is the suggested approach divine spirit three of pentacles okay what is each um, the focus what is the focus what should our focus be that's going to be of our highest good okay um, the seven of cups and what is the outcome card? If guidance is followed, what should we expect? If guidance is followed, Tuesday, July 4th, 2017. The Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay, so... you got the Three of Cups as the... Um, overall energy so of course this is about social socializing family celebrations um partying so this is the overall theme of the day okay it's pretty evident pretty obvious because it's the fourth of july so you may or may not celebrate that you may um take your kids out to see the fireworks you may you know have dinner with family and friends cook barbecue you know usually that's what people do so this social energy um even if you don't go out and about you don't go to a block party or barbecue or go to the fireworks go to the park you might just celebrate within doors you know cook yourself a good meal or you know watch sometimes they have like movie specials on tv like they play the independence day movie every fourth of july and i think they play the, play the godfather marathon or something like there's you know tv shows and stuff or whatever you feel guided to do some people don't even care for tv so whatever you feel guided to do i feel like you'll find something to do that occupies your time or at least uh where you're celebrating even if you're at work i feel like you know join in the festivities of it or just enjoy the energy everyone is like happy around you i know some people don't celebrate independence day and that's fine i just feel like that's the energy that's going to be around you as well if you're not partaking in it the challenge is the um page of cups so some of you may not be all jolly jolly <laughs> you not might not be one of these these women here or people celebrating and that's totally fine, okay? Um, I'm just getting that everything doesn't always have to be so serious. Like, oh, I don't celebrate this holiday because, you know, the government, blah, blah, blah. Or you're just not in the spirit to celebrate or be in a happy mood or to socialize. Some of you may need to go within yourself, but spirit's telling you to find some time for socializing because you got the three of pentacles as your suggested approach. So... Be slightly practical and, and do try to interact with people. It, you know, it's just weird. Like certain holidays, they might not have meaning to some people, but to other people, it does mean a lot to them. Like Christmas, some people don't celebrate Christmas, but you notice that some people are just extremely happy. The kids are all excited. And I feel like that's what spirit wants you to pay attention to, the energy that people are in, not the, so much the celebration of the, the holiday, the so-called holiday, because some people don't fall into traps of holidays. But that's fine. But do socialize, especially with those that mean a lot to you. Like do, you know, 
help out. I'm, I'm getting like maybe help cook or, you know, set up a party or bring something, you know, if you're, you're say you're um, having an office party for the day, you can bring food, drinks, you know, do partake in it some way. Okay. You don't have to be all in celebrating wearing red, you know, red, white, and blue, but do, do, you know, try to include yourself with the social aspect of, you know, enjoying the energy of the people around you, because I feel like everybody is really going to be in a high vibration today. And some of you may not be feeling it, you know, some of you, others of you, it, it's hard to be like, I got other stuff going on. I can't just drop everything. And some of you might be mad that you can't celebrate with people. Like you might actually have to work. Okay. So some of you do need to put your priorities first. It could very well be, you know, take it to work. Enjoy that energy at work. If you can't spend time with your family on 4th of July, you know, enjoy the people that you're around. Try to find some happiness within this energy. The focus is the seven of cups. So focus on kind of like it's this fantasy childlike energy. So focus on, you know, try to create an illusion like, yeah, I'm at work. I'd rather be at home with my kids and my family. I'd rather be at this barbecue right now, this pool party, this block party or whatever. I'd rather be doing that than being here. Focus on how you can create that celebration or that energy at work or wherever you are or if you don't have anything to do that day find something to do with your family period or with yourself you know watch a movie cook something you know you don't you might not have the money to celebrate not everybody does you know enjoy the fire um works from your backyard you know find something to be happy um about the outcome is the Knight of Wands. So this is creative energy. I definitely feel like some of you will just get the urgency. Just let's, let me take a walk to the park so I can see the fireworks. Let me take my dog. Let me take my children to the park. Or let me see what everyone else is doing. Or, you know, you it's like you're going to come up with something creative to do. And you're going to take the initiative on this day. That's pretty much what I'm seeing. Some of you might be getting some offers um, from coworkers. That's pretty much what I'm saying. It's not like heavy, heavy energy today. It's pretty light. Uh, I want to see if anything else comes out. That's what I'm seeing. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? Let's see. Okay. So you have the Magician with the Ace of Wands. So definitely this is a creative day. Um, you can make it whatever you want it to be today, okay? Because the energy around it, everybody's, you know, usually very happy, very excited, you know, getting the fireworks. Some people like to eat, cook, and drink, you know. Um, so there's a lot of things that you can do with this energy. You don't have to play into everything. You don't have to go to the fireworks. You don't have to go to the parties or whatever. Wear the red, white, and blue. You could just simply enjoy what's on TV or just enjoy the fact that you're off work. Some people might not be working. You're out of school. You can go swimming. You can go to the park. Just put yourself in an active mode and take advantage of this energy because I feel like it's going to be a good day overall for people's energy. Like everybody pretty much is going to be on the ups around you, like circle, you know, associates or family pretty much. Okay. So let's see what the romance angels has for us and the angel gods and goddesses that has as advice for us today. What is the advice? Let's see. Okay, romance angels. What is the advice? What is the advice you have for us today, Divine Spirit? Fourth of July 2017. What is the love energy surrounding this day? This could be the one with very soon. Perfect day to create surrounding um, love and relationships, I feel. Because everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's open hearted. Everybody's kind of like in this. When holidays come around, everybody's like a child again. It's just excitement and, you know, traditions and stuff like that for some people. So you got the goddess of the sacred path. And I feel feel like we got this yesterday i don't know i can't remember 
But um, the love energy, it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. For some of you, you possibly could have, okay? I'm just getting like this person may be at an office party and some of you have every reason to celebrate or they work with you and might I just get maybe something is offered to you at work like you guys like might be like this is a shitty day I don't want to go to work I don't want to do this I'd rather be celebrating with my friends and family I'd rather be in bed whatever I'd rather be doing on this day watch some fireworks eat some barbecue whatever I don't want to be around these people or I just want to be at home just take advantage of this holiday and just sleep in whatever but I feel like some of you might have an office admirer or a crush that you have at work and this person may very well just offer you something that kind of pops some things off for others of you it could be a very good day um to mingle with people because I just feel like this is a day of meeting everybody's in a good mood so any way that you can get out and socialize with people, do that because everybody's energy, majority of people's energy right now, or at least around you in your atmosphere, everybody's like in a happy celebration type of mood. So why shouldn't you? Um, couples. It's going to feel very rose colored glasses today for those that are coupled, which isn't a bad thing. It's just the energy. Like I said, everybody's going to be feeling all jolly and um, happy and open-hearted so please take advantage of this day like forget whatever it's a government holiday who gives who cares but just take the energy for what it is we're cooking we're drinking probably we're watching fireworks I'm with my family I'm laughing I'm people at work are laughing they're eating they're enjoying themselves you know you never know just take advantage of the good energy that's that's around in your atmosphere Goddess of the Sacred Path, it says, let go of logic and trust your intuition. So for the guidance today, Spirit's telling you, just let go of logic. Stop being such of an adult today, in a sense. Don't be so, like, um, like, politically correct, like, you know, or just all up in your feelings for some of you could be like that. Don't think so logically about it. I feel like just follow your bliss today is kind of the intuition. Like you essentially, you want to just chill today. However you feel guided to chill, whether it's just spend time at home with your family, just be alone with yourself, sleep, rest, eat, go to the park, go visit some people, go swimming, whatever you want to do, travel, whatever you feel guided to do, that's your bliss. Get out of your head a little bit and stop thinking so much today because it's like you might miss the opportunity for it to be a great day. I feel like it has that potential and you can miss out. Okay, so get out of your head a little bit today. Take this day as a chill day for you. Even if you're at work, don't take it so seriously. There's still something in store for you as well. But that's the reading, you guys. I hope that that resonates. I, it's kind of, it might as well be called the 4th of July reading. But it's that's what's coming out. That's the energy that's, that's amongst us, okay? I don't know why, but that's what's up. That's what's going on. That's what I'm getting. This is spirit showing me. So I hope you guys take advantage of this day and enjoy yourselves and have fun with your friends and your family, with yourself, whomever, your dogs, your cats, your hamsters, whatever. And as always, you guys, I'm sending you much love. Peace.